So guys, I got a couple of updates on the killing of Robbie Lawler. So the first update is this, that cash seized from two women who were stopped in the Republic of Ireland was alleged payment for the contract killing of Robbie. The pair were said to be among more than 20 suspects identified as part of the investigation into the gangland assassination in North Belfast back in 2020. These details emerged as lawyers for the two men charged with the murder hit out at the time it's been taken to advance their cases to trial. As we all know, Lawler was 36 years old was shot dead on April the 4th, 2020 when gunmen emerged from a house at Etna Drive in the Ardoin district and opened fire. The murder is believed to be connected to a drugs feud between rival crime factions with connections to Drara, Dublin, Sligo and beyond Ireland. Adrian Holland is 38 and Patrick Tear is 46, remain in custody over their alleged involvement in the plot. However, neither man is suspected of carrying out the shooting. Instead, they are both charged with murder as part of a joint enterprise with others. So the prosecution alleged that the plan to lure Lawler to his death was devised three weeks before he was shot. Holland from Belfast allegedly travelled to Sligo and spoke to an unnamed international drug dealer at a hotel. At Belfast Magistrates Court, a Crown lawyer suggested another 12 weeks was needed to prepare for a preliminary inquiry into the evidence. But one of the solicitors argued that the investigation has been going on for nearly two years. He said there are up to 21 suspects in respect to this murder and we are not aware that any of them have been interviewed. Two women who were said to have been stopped near Poor Leash with what was alleged to have been money paid to the people who really carried out this contract killing. The solicitor said that there's been no interview since May. One of the solicitors also claimed detectives have yet to question another man who is currently in England and heavily linked with the attack on Lola. He said he is a major suspect in this murder, available for police to speak to. So guys, it seems all that it's still going to take a long time for this case to get to trial. The other thing I want to comment about is this Robbie Lola TikTok video. Now yesterday I had a lot of people send me in this story so I thought, let me go check it out now. There's a video that's on TikTok and it appears to mock the death of Robbie Lawler. It's a short clip, literally, it's like three slides. A picture of Robbie, a picture of Keen, and then a picture of Coffin. And underneath it says, Robbie the scumbag. It's got a bit of music, literally lasts about three or four seconds and that's it, it's done. And then you've got comments under the video saying that Robbie weren't a good man or Robbie wasn't much of a big man when he went up north and, and all those type of comments. But the thing is, yes, we know that there's some people out there that didn't like him time he passed away the amount of parties that were being thrown in ireland people celebrating sharing those videos now robbie is alleged to be behind the murder of chemo reedy woods who was from Drawder. he was last seen on january the 12th before his dismembered body was discovered a week later in one bag with his limbs dumped on a pavement in darndale and then his head hands and other body parts were found in a burnt out car in drumcondra i want to say rest in peace to both to keen and to robbie lawler but I just wanted to say, I find it real sad that this day and age, when somebody passes away, people, they celebrate, they rejoice, and they mock someone's death. Crazy times of living, people. It's your boy GC. Keep it locked, keep it real.